This segment will provide you some tips on operating thermal sensing cameras. SWAN's cameras have True Detect Thermal Sensing Technology and PIRs, or Passive Infrared Motion Sensors, built in. PIR sensors work best when the subject passes across the field of view as opposed to directly approaching them. Position your camera so that anyone approaching your home will cross the camera's view and trigger an event. A PIR can reliably detect movement up to 30 feet or 9 meters. Activity beyond this range may or may not be detected. Note that the PIR can detect an object outside the camera's area of view, so not everything that triggers the sensor will be visible on your camera. For recording to occur on the DVR, the PIR must sense a warm object moving in front of it and the image sensor must detect movement in the image. If either of these triggers has not occurred, no video will be recorded. If the PIR is triggered, PIR will be displayed on the screen. If motion and PIR are triggered, the running man icon will be displayed on the screen, indicating that an event has occurred and that recording has commenced. One main benefit of SWAN's True Detect Thermal Sensing PIR technology is resistance to false triggering from changes in the image, wind, rain, snow, falling leaves, trees moving, and more. More accurate sensing of people, cars, large animals, and security activity means more efficient motion recording, conserves memory storage space, and produces more reliable push notifications and alerts. Be aware that sudden changes in temperature can cause false alerts when there is also movement in the image such as trees and shadows. If some false triggering occurs, use the motion mask of each camera to remove the moving object from being detected to further refine your alerts. When used indoors, be aware of radiators, heaters, and other heat sources, as these can likely also trigger a PIR, although if there is no movement in the image, a false alert is unlikely.